Let's get started. Nineteen twenty eight, Marilyn Berkman, songwriter. In 1983, she became the first songwriter to write three different songs nominated for the Academy Award for Best Song. She wrote two musicals and was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1980. She received the Film Crystal Award in 1986. She married her fellow songwriter, Alan Berkman, in 1958. In 1983, she co-wrote three Oscar-nominated songs, how do you keep the music playing? From Best Friends, It Might Be You, from Tootsie, with Dave Grusin, and If We Were In Love, Yes, Giorgio, with John Williams. Her lyrics for Someone In The Dark, from the movie E.T., The Extraterrestrial, were sung by Michael Jackson. 1932 Paul Blay Pianist Influential in the free jazz movement, he established Montreal's Jazz Workshop, where he shared the stage with Charlie Parker, Lester Young, and Ben Webster. He toured with Sonny Rollins, with whom he also recorded. He produced an album with Coleman Hawkins, titled Sonny Meets Hawk. 1963, he was the conductor on the album Charles Mingus and His Orchestra, 1953. In this series, we're paying homage to the musical legends who were born on this day. From rock and roll pioneers to jazz greats, we'll take a closer look at the lives, careers, and legacies of these talented artists. Whether you're a fan of their music or just curious to learn more, join us as we celebrate the birthdays of these iconic musicians. 1947 Greg Lake Bassist, Singer, from the band King Crimson, which he formed in high school, shortly after meeting Robert Fripp. Later, he worked as a vocalist, bassist, and guitarist for Emerson, Lake and Palmer. He released his debut single in 1975, titled I Believe in Father Christmas. He has worked with Bob Dylan at some point. 1973 Jackie Abbott Rock singer Remembered for her work with the Beautiful South, 1994 to 2000. During her time with the band, they released their two most successful albums, Blue is the Color and Quench, both platinum. In 1995, they toured with R.E.M. 1977 Erica Packer Pop singer, songwriter Remembered for her album Through Your Eyes, 2007. Her single, I Spy, reached number 57 on the ARIA charts. Natasha Bedingfield wrote the single, I Spy, for her. If you remember anyone on this list, let me know. Which one is your favorite? To learn more, take a look at the description of this post. Remember that if you like the content, you can share the link, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. This was a program for music and life by Carlos M. Created by Room KM Productions.